Hello again. This is Bill of Crossheart Ministry. Today we're going to take another look at the Great American Solar Eclipse on April 8th as the possible rapture date or starting day of the tribulation period. It's even possible on that day there will be a major disaster. Many signs from the Lord are showing that this is an important date that we can't ignore. Actually, it's become difficult to even keep up with all the information that's being revealed to us. Of course, I don't claim to know the date of the rapture or tribulation period. I don't know if anything will take place on April 8th. But so many clues are being given to us. It appears that there must be something of divine significance about that day. I believe God has not given us Bible prophecy to scare us, but to prepare us. Psalm 27 1 reminds us, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? After the narration of the following 12 clips about why April 8th is an important day to look at, I'll be back for the final part of our message today. Jesus said, I am the Aleph and Tav. These are symbols we are seeing on these maps showing the X and the A. Most Bible versions of Revelation 22:13 state that Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, which are the first and last letters of the Greek alphabet. But some Bible scholars point out that Jesus actually said the former, which are the first and last letters of the Hebrew alphabet. So there is no real conflict here. We read in the version to the right middle of this page, I am the Aleph and the Tav, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are those who do His commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city. Six years, six months, six weeks, and six days from the great American solar eclipses on August 21, 2017, and April 8, 2024. This is a total of 2,422 days. This is computed by taking 365 days a year times 6 years, which equals 2,190 days. 30.6666 days average days per month times 6 months, which equals 184 days. 7 days times 6 weeks equals 42 days and 1 day times 6 days equals 6 days. This again is 2,422 days. Strong's Concordance says 6,666 stands for words like justice, righteous, and vindication. Does that mean the Lord, the righteous judge is going to get vindication against America for its sins? In the path of the North American solar eclipses are towns named Jonah and Nineveh. And Nineveh means judgment. Here are some of those towns. Jonah, Texas, Nineveh, Missouri, Nineveh, Indiana, Nineveh Township, Ohio, Nineveh, Pennsylvania, Nineveh, Texas, Nineveh, New York, and Nineveh, Nova Scotia, Canada. Matthew 16:4 is a verse in the Bible that describes a group of Pharisees and Sadducees demanding a miracle from Jesus, who said, A wicked and adulterous generation looks for a sign, but none will be given it except the sign of Jonah. This map of the United States is from Rapture at Hourly Watch Channel. It is showing many of the words along the paths of the 2017 and 2024 X's. They include towns called Cross, Elijah, Enoch, Flood, Groom, Israel, Jonah, Nineveh, Noah, and Rapture. The 2017 or the 2024 eclipse crosses over 13 cities named Salem, and three cities named Jerusalem. Some interpretations suggest that Salem could be an early form of Jerusalem. Those city names include Salem, Oregon, Salem, Idaho, Salem, Wyoming, Salem, Nebraska, Salem, Missouri, Salem, Kentucky, Salem, South Carolina, Salem, Arkansas, Salem, Indiana, Salem, Tennessee, Salem, Maine, Salem, Utah, Salem, Illinois, Jerusalem, Arkansas, Jerusalem, Ohio, 
and Jerusalem, New York. And this is a display I created of names of biblical places the solar eclipses cross over. Some of these locations were mentioned earlier. So first we have Devil's Punch Bowl, near Hamilton, Ontario, Rapture, Indiana, Elijah, Missouri, Cairo, Illinois, The Ark Encounter, near Williamsport, Kentucky, Coming King Sculpture, near Kerbal, Texas, Eagle Pass, Texas, Devil's Stand Table Nature Trail, near Macanda, Illinois, Mount Carmel, Illinois, Corpus Christi, Texas, Alpha, Kentucky, Omega, Illinois, Little Egypt, Illinois, Elijah, Missouri, Farrell Lake, New York, Cross, Texas, Noah, Arkansas, and Noah, Texas. Here we see another clip created by Patrick of Rapture at Hourly Watch Channel. Patrick focuses on what is happening in and around the constellations. There is so much here I won't try to explain the meaning of it all. Instead, you can see this video by opening the link I will list in my description box. What I will do here is go over some of the names mentioned here in and around Pisces, Aries, and Aquarius. The main thing to note is that this a picture of the heavens on April 8th with the moon and sun displaying the solar eclipse. Other familiar words shown here include, starting at the top right, Amos, Messenger, Church, Taiwan, Chambers, Mexico, Paul, Asia, Cross, Flood, Shepherd, China, Daniel, Russia, Dragonera, suggesting the word Dragon, a long word that means Damascus, Champion, Weeks, Groom, True Blood, which reminds me of the blood our Lord shed for our sins. We also see Lucifer here, Life Son, Rehoboth, Spirit, Booth, Noah Cain, and two women mentioned in the Bible, Ruth, and Europa. Many Christians know that seven is God's perfect number. This number is used over and again describing the magnitude of the 1811 and 1812 New Madrid earthquakes that took place during those years in the heart of America where the 2017 and 2024 eclipses are centered. In September 1811, an annular solar eclipse was seen in the area where those 19th century earthquakes occurred. The four earthquakes that took place in those two years were a magnitude of 7.0 to 7.7. .7. 7 is also shown to be an important number in the following facts, there are 7 continents and 7 oceans on the globe. There are 7 colors in the rainbow and 7 notes on the musical scale. There is a pattern of 7 stars which are guiding stars, including the Big Dipper, and there are 7 objects in the solar system that are visible to the naked eye. There are 7 metals of antiquity upon which civilization is based, and 7 levels in the periodic table of elements. From the Bible, we know that Joseph had a seven-year warning before the seven years of famine began and Noah had a seven-day warning before the rain began. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. Is it possible we've been given a seven-year warning before the seven years of tribulation begin, considering all the sevens we see in the seven-year separation between the 2017 and 2024 eclipses? Another amazing note is this globe shown on the website for Coming King Sculpture Prayer Garden, pointing out that their site is at the center of the 2023 and 2024 solar eclipses. The globe reads, God marked the spot, the empty cross in their garden is 77 feet, 7 inches tall, and this garden is at the same latitude as Israel. The April 8th eclipse is the ninth over America since we became a nation. According to the Bible, the number 9 is a holy number that symbolizes divine completion, finality, and judgment. Jesus died on the cross at the ninth hour. Human gestations last 9 months. 9 represents the number of generations from Adam to Noah, and then from Noah to Abraham. Another point here is that America was involved in wars or periods of great unrest during those first 8 eclipses. The first two American solar eclipses were in 1778 and 1780. The American Revolutionary War was from 1775 to 1783. The next three eclipses were in 1860, 1869, and 1878. The American Civil War was from 1861 to 1865, but there was still much unrest in America during those following years after the official time period of the war. America was still involved in the Vietnam War when the 1970 eclipse appeared, and the 1979 eclipse was during the year that Americans were held hostage at the U.S. Embassy in Tehran by militant Iranians. 
So does this mean another great American conflict or war will take place during 2024? As shown in a previous clip, another great concern about the location of the 2017 and 2024 American eclipses is that a major earthquake zone is at the crux of that cross. The new Madrid fault zone is near Little Egypt, Illinois area. The most dangerous fault in that area. It crosses five states, 120 miles long. In Exodus 4 8, the Lord said, if they do not believe you or pay attention to the first sign, they may believe the second. In Genesis 41 29, we read, Behold, seven years of great abundance are coming in all the land of Egypt, and after them seven years of famine will come, and all the abundance will be forgotten in the land of Egypt, and the famine will ravage the land. So the next question is, will there be a major earthquake on April 8th? Here we see that the month and day of April 8th equals 0408, and also converts to 48. The US is commonly called the lower 48, and Strong's definition for that number is to purify or cleanse from defilement. Usage is, I cleanse, purify, either ceremonially, actually, or morally. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away, behold, the new has come. This scripture sure fits with the explanation of number 8, the day in April when the full solar eclipse will appear. The number 8 represents a new beginning, meaning a new order or creation, and man's true born-again event when he is resurrected from the dead into eternal life. That sure describes what will happen at the rapture. The number 8 also symbolizes circumcision of the heart through Christ and the receiving of the Holy Spirit. Those in Christ are becoming a new creation, with godly character being created by the power of God's Spirit. Hi, this is Bill again. So the next important question is, how well do you know Jesus? Philippians 3.10 reads, That I may know him, and the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his sufferings, being made conformable unto his death. Why did Jesus die on the cross? Jesus died to pay the penalty for our sins. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Jesus said, If you do not believe that I am He, you will die in your sins. When Christ died, he died for you individually, just as much as if you had been the only person in the world. In John 4.15 it states, Whoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, and he in God. Here are five steps to receive your salvation. Number one, Repent. Acknowledge your sin before God. Ask for forgiveness. Number two, confess. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus died, he rose, and will return again. Number three, believe that God has forgiven you. Believe that he will fulfill his promise to baptize you with his Holy Spirit. Numbers 4 and 5 are not a requirements for salvation, but it is recommended that you connect and grow with other believers through a Bible-based church and that you should actively pursue after God by praying regularly, reading his word, and serving his people. So now you can reach out to God and pray for your salvation in your own words, using the steps just mentioned. Or you can pray along with me while I read this prayer out loud. Whether you believe you're saved or not, consider praying with me to affirm within your heart that you believe in the Lord Jesus as your Savior. Father God, I know that I'm a sinner who needs a Savior. 
I'm coming to you as I am. Please forgive me for every sin against you. I choose right now to turn away from my past. Take my life and make it yours. I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. He died for me and rose again. And I ask him now to come into my heart. I make him my Lord and Savior. Please send your Holy Spirit to help me live for him all the days of my life. Thank you, God, for sending your Son to pay the price I owed for my sins. Thank you for your grace and mercy. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have sincerely accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you've been born again. Now you should tell someone what you just did. We recommend Billy Graham Prayer Line, 1-888-388-2683. Someone there will be glad to pray with you or answer your questions. You can also go to their website, peacewithgod.net. Thank you for watching our video all the way to the end. You may have friends or family who would appreciate it if you shared this video with them. In fact, they may be eternally grateful. God bless.